If you haven't already, download, install and run Thoughtstop. So what bits are we focusing on? That's results, which is shown on the main screen. Top left, performance. Top right, under the processor name, the multiplier, number before the X, and the total megahertz just below. Next window, just underneath, shows all the CPU threads, which for the 8750 is 12, 2 per core. We need to only focus on the max column. Below that, the button labeled power, click until it reads max power. Next, click limits. This pops up a limit reason window. Now, before you run any tests, remember to click the CLR button. So that clears all the temperatures and everything else. So you're ready to proceed. Exciting, isn't it? So the first thing I would do is to run your test of choice to set your baseline and see if you actually have any issues. If you haven't got any issues, there's no point running throttle stop. Now for my 4K Razer, I ran 3D Mark to get my fire strike score to aim for. I also ran the built-in test TS Bench. Load this, leave it 12 threads and 64M. It's a quick test, won't cause any throttling. You can use it as a guide and note results during your benchmarking. Remember, press clear again to reset all your results. Run your benchmark test. If you decide to use TS Bench for your benchmark choice, change the size from from 64M to 1024M. This takes longer and will show issues. Now this is my results. Ouch. You will notice in the limit reasons window, yellow or worse red block. To clear, click the labels on the top. Make a note of these on your template. So after reading lots of forum threads, articles and watching others, I discovered the go-to working under vault settings. I also thought for the frequency multipliers, start low and work your way up. So let's dive in. Click the Vivar button. Performance window. This is your four different custom tabs. Leave it on one for now. Next focus is the turbo ratio limits. These are your frequency multipliers. Next focus is the FIVR control. This is where we select what CPU items we wish to change. Next focus is to note offset numbers to make sure it's what you expect. In our case, they should all read zero. Okay. It's time to rock. And the Vivar control, select CPU core. Underneath, tick unlock adjustable voltage. Select adaptive. Now the only voltage we are ever going to change is the offset. For all of these, leave range at 125 millivolts. Slide all the way to the left until you set 1, 2, 5. Back to the Vivar control and select CPU cache. I decided for myself to give it a bit more juice than the CPU. Repeat as above, but set it to minus 120 millivolts. Back to the Vivar control and select Intel GPU. Repeat, but set this to minus 030. Now these values should be good, but if at any time you experience lockups, blue screens during the test, reduce the values by 10. Example 125 becomes 115. Otherwise, we won't be touching these again until we hit our max frequency multiplier. Click apply. Notice the offset value change. So let's start the lab with a low turbo ratio and put the values in your template. For me, it was 32 across the board. Click clear again. Run the TS Bench 64M first and note performance. Run your benchmark. Note results. Check limit reason. If all clear, increase the multipliers. And I'm going to show you the results I got each time I increase these numbers. And as you see, I only started getting BD proc in the limit reasons when I increased them all to 35. I increased the first four of them to 36. And the last two calls to 34. Run the test. And as you see, I didn't get any errors. I'll run the first two calls at 37. The next two at 36. The next two at 34. No problems. So I'll then run the first two at 38. Next two 36, 34, and I did get some problems. Okay, right, I run 1 at 38, then 1 at 37, 236, 135, and 134. No problems. Then I ran 39, 37, 36, 36, 35, 34. No problems. Then I run the first call at 40, and all the others the same, and I start getting issues. So I've now realized that the maximum I can run one core at is 39. So what I've got to do now is find out what the maximum second core can be. Increase that to 38, and I've got issues. The third core is try 37, and no issues. Great. Now we're going to find out what the maximum fourth core is. 37. Problem. So I know that's 36. I think you can get the pattern here. We're going to push the Intel GPU further. It's 40. The last 
two calls for 36 and that worked fine now as you can see i also got a top temperature of 85 degrees so i thought well, i can't really push it anymore it was 44.5 watts throttles around at 45 got a good ts bench retail threads of 6.8 compare that again with the original you can see that the max temperature was 86 the 3d mark fire bench mine was a tiny bit slow about 100 points slower 300 megahertz slower i got the maximum power of 44.5 compared to 46.1 and I can see where that's probably why it's throttled and the TS Bench thread 64M was quite similar. So let's compare the results between the two. So this is before and after. So after all this benchmarking and testing and everything, your decision now is do you actually want to carry on using throttle stop? If you don't, all you need to do is uninstall the program, reboot your machine, and everything will be back as it was, factory defaults. Doesn't update the BIOS or anything like that. If you do want to use it, then you have to choose whether you want to automatically run it at startup and there's videos out there to show you how to do that or do you just want to manually run it minimize it and then let it run in the background i prefer the minimize run it in the background just going to go over a couple of settings to show you how to do this so you need to go options you need to make sure the notification area is ticked you can start minimize to go back in the window or minimize on close i think if i click the close icon i actually want the program to stop okay click the ok you might have to click save goes onto your performance profile and then when i minimize it now it should pop up in the notification area if you're not too sure do a bit more research any comments up down negative sideways whatever until the next one which should be quite soon Bye.